And so uh, I didn't know that Mr. Rosenberg and Mr. Single were also uh, ready to proceed on Mr. Rizzio. So we can, we can do that, certainly. All right, Mr. Single and Mr. Rosenberg, I see Mr. Single. Mr. Rosenberg, can you hear us? Are you present? Yes, Judge. Yes, Judge. Very good. And there he is. All right. Very nice. Uh, Ms. Dorizio, can you hear us? All right. You're muted on your side, Ms. Dorizio, so I think we're going to have to unmute you. I can, Ms. Dorizio, um, it appears you're unmuted. Can you say something? Hi, good morning. All right, good morning. Okay. All right, Council, um, if we are ready, we're going to proceed on the State of New Jersey versus Angela Dorizio. We're here on two matters. Uh, we have indictment 1403 and 314, as well as indictment 1505. 193. Council may have your appearance in sleep. Judge, Assistant Prosecutor Sword Single on behalf of the state. Good morning, Judge. May please the number of the parent of the Rubio. President appearing by the county jail. Judge, I will note that there's a significant echo when I know that I'm hearing. I can move through it, but there, if there's something that is done, that's certainly something I want to bring to the point. I agree. I'm not sure what we can do to address that echo issue. I'm judge. I'm fine. Proceed. So that the the court was where I'm here. I'm here. I'm the echoes. It sounds like court as well. All right. Well, um, I think we should proceed. Let's just take our time with this. Agreed. Right, because there is a delay. So. Uh, Mr. Rizio, I'm, I'm going to swear you in. Do you swear or affirm that any testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, ma'am? Yes. yes. All right. Um, Mr. Rosenberg and Mr. Single, we did have an opportunity to conference this uh, matter telephonically yesterday, and it's my understanding that in exchange for a plea of guilty to allegations that Mr. Rizio violated the terms and conditions of of her previously imposed probationary sentence that uh, would remain in drug court for the balance of the time uh, that she has remaining on her probationary term uh, and that if there was placement into an inpatient treatment facility that the court would, absent exceptional circumstances, permit Mr. Rizzio's release from incarceration to an appropriate inpatient treatment facility and that uh, once we reached her term out date for the probationary term, um, whether she's in treatment or have just completed treatment, that uh, basically her drug court probation would be terminated uh, with marginal improvement rather than the imposition of the state prison sentence that would normally occur. Counsel, does that seem to comport with uh, your recollection of our conversation yesterday, and, and are we ready to proceed in that manner today? Yes, Judge. Yes, Judge. All right, Ms. Mr. Rizio, I just want to inform Mr. Rizio of her rights, all right, Mr. Rizio, I think you recognize, but I'm just going to repeat this, that you don't have to plead guilty to allegations that you violated the terms and conditions of your probationary sentence. You're entitled to a, a hearing on that matter. Do you understand that? Yes. All right, and at any hearing, the state would attempt to prove by a preponderance of the evidence that you violated that probationary term. Do you understand that? Yes. And at any hearing, your experienced attorney, Mr. Rosenberg, would have an opportunity to confront or cross-examine any witnesses put before me for that hearing by the state and to call witnesses on your behalf. Do you understand that right? Yes. And Mr. Rizzo, you do recognize that if you plead guilty to these allegations that you violated the terms and conditions of your previously imposed probationary sentence, that you are in fact waiving your right or giving up your right to have a hearing on the matter. Am I correct? Yes. All right. You're thinking clearly today. Am I right? Yes. You 
you've had an opportunity to uh, consider your options with uh, Mr. Rosenberg, your experienced attorney? Yes. All right. Is anybody forcing you, threatening you, coercing you, or promising you anything to induce your guilty plea other than what we've talked about? No. And you're doing so voluntarily, am I correct? Yes, correct. All right. Well, then, Mr. Rosenberg, I would turn to you to elicit a, a factual basis for the violation, and then I'd be uh, inclined, uh, absent any additional commentary by counsel, to simultaneously sentence Mr. Rizzio uh, today to continued probation. So I'll turn to you, Mr. Rosenberg, to elicit a factual basis, please. Thank you, Judge. There's no objection to simultaneous sentencing. Um, Angela, I want to direct your attention to May 22nd, 2015, you entered a plea of guilty to five years of drug court probation in Mercer County. Do you recall that? Yes, I do. And you, on December 1st, 2015, you signed the standard conditions of adult probation. Is that correct? Correct. And then on the 18th of December in 2015, you signed the Burlington County Drug Court Program Supplemental Rules. Is that correct? Correct. And you were also provided with the Burlington County Drug Court Handbook. Is that correct? Correct. And then on various dates uh, ranging between 2015 and 2020, you violated your probation by um, absconding, by um, uh, relapsing, and also most recently leaving drug court um, using, uh, use, relapsing again and then um, returning to drug court. Is that correct? Correct. Now, um, violation of probation lays out various dates of non-compliance. And at this point, you don't have any specific objections or um, uh, for your alleged violations. Is that correct? Correct. And so you're um, entering an admission to violating your terms and conditions of special probation. Is that correct? Correct. I have nothing further, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Single. Mr. Single, are you with us? Yes, Judge. Is the state satisfied with the factual yes, basis Judge. as elicited? Yes, All right, state is satisfied and the court is satisfied uh, as to the uh, adequacy of the factual base pro basis provided for the uh, violation of probation. I do find that uh, Mr. Rizzio is thinking clearly not under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication that could affect her ability to understand the contents of any violation summary or the proceedings in court. Mr. Rizzio is being represented by competent counsel with whom she's satisfied. So as a result, I do find the plea was entered into knowingly and voluntarily absent forced threat, coercion, or duress. Mr. Rizzio clearly recognizes that by pleading guilty to the aforementioned allegations that she has relinquished her right to a hearing on the matter. So the court does accept the guilty plea. With regard to sentencing, uh, as I've indicated, uh, Mr. Single and Mr. Rosenberg, I plan on sentencing her as uh, two professionals were able to negotiate this yesterday. Um, Mr. Single, anything you want to be heard with regard to sentencing? Judge, uh, I'll be brief in the respect that Mr. Rizzi is going to turn out uh, and not successfully complete drug court, but I hope that even after she's released, uh, she continues a program of treatment. Otherwise, uh, I'm scared what's going to happen for Mr. Rizzio. So, I appreciate those comments. Thank you, Mr. Single. Mr. Rosenberg, anything you want us to be aware of? Judge, um, I want to thank the state and the court for um, uh, accepting this resolution and working with Mr. Rizzio on creating this resolution. I can represent to the court that um, we share the same concerns as the state. And we're trying to put her in the best position that when she is released, I can represent to the court that she's going to be released into a treatment program. We have, um, I have uh, my team working on some uh, potential inpatient treatment program. I'm hopeful by um, later today, I'll have some options to be able to go over with the state. Um, and uh, the goal, of course, is to get her in treatment and to keep her sober. So even though she's going to be turning out and... Um, I'm not as familiar as the court is with her um, her relapse history over the past five years. We're all on the same page in that we're trying to get her into a position where she can maintain her sobriety. With that, Your Honor, I'll submit. All right. Thank you. Mr. Rizzio, anything you want me to be aware of before I uh, sentence you to continued drug court under the conditions and parameters until you turn out? Anything you want me to be aware of, ma'am? No, Judge. That's it. Thank you so much. All right. Well, um, the court is going to uh, 
based upon the negotiated resolution and the court viewing this uh, somewhat uh, unusual resolution to a violation of probation, uh, warranted and acceptable under the facts and circumstances surrounding Mr. Rizzio, the court is going to sentence Mr. Rizzio now to continued drug court probation. Um, we recognize that she terms out uh, relatively soon. Um, as indicated, the court would uh, entertain any uh, appropriate application for Mr. Rizzio's release to uh, an appropriate regimen of, uh, of inpatient treatment. And uh, Mr. Rizzio, I will tell you this, uh, if there is uh, uh, placement, I will uh, sign whatever order uh, or have uh, my designee sign any order in my absence. But the goal, ma'am, is to... Uh, to have you address the underlying issue. I know you have a young child, okay? I know the divisions involved. I know I know a lot about you, Mr. Rizzio, that I don't share. And my concern is echoed by Mr. Rosenberg, of course, who is your advocate, and Mr. Single, uh, who, uh, who uh, represents the state here. And uh, we all agree that uh, you have a lot to offer. Um, and we're concerned about your health, safety, and well-being, and uh, we we're, we're, we want to put you in the best position to lead a uh, lead a productive life, rather than to send you to prison today, which also was certainly uh, in the cards. All right, so uh, um, that is going to be the sentence of the court, Mr. Rosenberg. I appreciate your time, Mr. Single. I appreciate your time, both of you, and your hard work. And unless there's anything further with regard to Mr. Rizzio, we can uh, conclude this matter. No, Judge, thank you. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it, Mr. Roseberg. I appreciate your time, and I look forward to uh, uh, hearing from you about any placement. And if we can do anything to uh, assist, uh, let us know. All right? Thank you, Judge. All right. We're going to close the record on this proceeding. Thank you very much, Mr. Roseberg, Mr. Rizzio, and Mr. Singer. Thank you. You're welcome.